and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at the April release from Picket Fun Studios. And as you can see, it's another good one. So I'm gonna run through this quickly and then we're gonna get into some card making. So first off, we have two little four by four stamp sets and this one is called From My Heart. It's got like, it's quite cute with the like little heart in my hand. And then chickens or more hot chicks, more like it. And then we have Inside Quote Birthdays. So this, it's full of like fun little sentiments and things. And uh, this one is quite funny. Sorry to point this out, but you'll always be older than me. Perfect for the man, because he is three years older than me. And uh, there's some fun like little jokey jokey ones here as well. So yeah, definitely good ones for inside your cards on uh, for birthday cards. So, and then we have a uh, fancy daily sentiments and a uh, matching dies. So you can just stamp or heat and bust these up cut them out, lay them up, put them on your card. Whoop, all done, fabulous. And cats are family, and I really like this one. I have two little stray cats myself, actually, and um, as well as the chicas. So this is um, really sweet. Oh, this is nice. Cats are the family he chose. Oh. Because we always say that we our cats like adopted us. We didn't have a choice. We got with cat without having a say in it. So yeah, that's nice. I like that. Oh, okay. Oh, and then matching dice, of course. And then we have um, beautiful girls flower wreath with a separate little butterfly there too. So this will be really nice. And you can just like pop a sentiment circle in the middle there and just have your flowers kind of poke out around. That would be nice, I think. And then we have dance mode on. And although I can't dance really to save my life, but um, I do like to do it when, you know, I need to kind of perk myself up or get stuff do uh, go in. It's just more fun when you dance a little bit. So yeah, that's good. And this one is nice, I like that. I'm obsessed with you. Another good one for the man. <laughs> And then we have more flowers. So this one is built on, on our big um, Barbara Daisy stamp set. And this one is called Wild Daisies. And we're here to celebrate you. It's a celebration. There's a two and a from as well. So that's nice. And I look forward to watercoloring this. That would be really, really nice. And then we get to our stencils. So this one is called uh, Tree of Hearts stencil. And it's a six by six. So it's actually the, like the shape of a heart. And then you can kind of see there's like a a trunk of a tree with some branches and stuff there. That would be nice for a sweet little background. And then we have details of a wing stencil and it also comes in a slim line. And you might sort of think, well, why are you doing a six by six and a slim line? Which one do I pick? And I would say if you mainly do like A2 cards, but like the occasional slim line card, you're better off going for the slim line stencil because obviously you can just just use it for the size that you need. Whereas if you have a six by six, you will have to either do one part and then layer up your stencil in another bit, maybe cover up the, the middle bit with a sentiment strip or something. So if you're wondering which out of these two to go for, I would probably say the slimline uh, version out of everything that comes in a six by six and a slimline. Just a little heads up there. And then we have a new fabulous addition to our slimline die cutting system. So here we have the scalloped frame dies. So we have a big, big one. So it's an um, eight and a half by three and a half. And then we have the smaller one that fits inside of that. And then there's also this one, which leaves like a really sort of thin frame around. And then obviously you get the inside bit as well. So you get um, like four frames basically out of this one. And then there's circles, there's scallop circles, there's hearts, and there's cheers, hello, hi, and a big celebrate. So I have a really good idea for that one, I think. And there's also uh, extra words here. So we have a huge congratulations, happy birthday. And this one you could, because um, they're not actually attached, it's just like a long one. So you could just stack them on top of each other as well. And then there's big happy hugs. And it's the same thing here. They're not actually attached. It's not like one long word. You can stack them and do uh, smaller cards as well. And then we have some extra little um, inserts for our um, slimline die cutting system. So we have a monarch butterfly and a little mushroom field. 
and it actually comes with like little extra mushrooms here and a little ladybug and quite possibly a butterfly and um, then we have a graduation insert as well and this one says congratulations uh, and then you have like the hat and the diploma and an extra little hat and things and so with this oh and there's also a tree with a wolf dog depending on what you want to do and then two bunnies two birds and a little squirrel there so these are the extra bits that come with our original slimline time cutting system which already has the nested rectangle dies so now we have straight lines or straight rectangles we have stitched rectangles and now we have scalloped so i mean th this originally was 256 different card fronts and then with these you know there's like multiples times this carry d2 and you know math is not my thing so i'm not going to do it but it's going to be an absolute ton of options of making your card fronts so that is it for the stamps and the dies, but we also have a new paper glaze and this one I've been looking forward to. I've actually been mixing my own with the uh, yellow and the green paper glaze. So this is Lime Cinea and it is zesty and gorgeous and I've already used this actually for a project so <laughs> there we go. And lastly but not least, another gem mix and this one is called uh, Reflections. And it's got a little bit of gold, a little bit of purple, a little bit of silver, I think, maybe even as well. And iridescent, purpley, lavender thing. I am not going to open this yet because I have a tendency of opening and everything flies all over the place. So I will open this gently when I'm ready to actually put some on my project. But with that, uh, I'm going to get into some card making and see what we can whip up. I decided to grab some old um, backgrounds and, um, you know, just loads and loads and loads of backgrounds I've made already and uh, just to kind of see what I could uh, come up with. And the big word dice really, really grabbed my fancy. So I was quite happy to have a lot of big, like slimline card backgrounds ready already. So I could just cut, cut, cut and puzzle them together. And as you can see, like I was on a bit of a roll and this is the only one that I've actually colored today now. So this one, I assembled the kitty cat and just colored that in. And then on two of these, I've used a big celebrate word. So on this one, I've just laid it up kind of like it's an eclipse card. And then on the lower one, I've um, stacked them up with black cardstock. Actually, I think it might just be one, but then I used all of those like gemstones as well, just to kind of make it pop. And this one is made with paper glaze. And then I laid it with pink cardstock just to kind of make that congratulations pop. And here I made my own shimmer cardstock with paper glaze. Those paper glazes came out again on this uh, Copic colored background. And uh, I stenciled that leaf stencil with some uh, paper glazes in brown dahlia and pink peony. So uh, we're just gonna have a quick little uh, close up on all of the cards now. And uh, with that, my video for today is done, but I really hope you found this super inspiring. Of course, wood wood. And uh, if you do shop any of the new release, I would be so grateful if you would use my affiliate links. I will link everything down below in the description box. Of course, these two links don't cost you anything at all, but I really, really appreciate the support and everything goes straight back into the running of this jibber jabber channel. See you soon again. Bye.